Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, It's All in the Details. Psalms 37 verses 23 and 24 tells us, it says the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of our lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. People of God, we have a purpose to fulfill. We have a road to travel. And this road is called life. It requires great effort, dedication, determination, and a godly skill to be able to navigate your way towards overcoming and enjoying not only life here on planet Earth, but eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But if we're totally honest with ourselves, we know that Miss haps and missteps have caused many of us to stumble and fall, to keep our attention away from pursuing our destiny and our purpose. And because of the plethora of missteps or mistakes we continue to deal with, we allow our fears to dictate our course of action. Anxiousness begins to control our thoughts. Jealousy, envy, gossip become the topic of discussion at the dinner table or in the break room at work or right in the comforts of our own home. I mean, it's so tempting to participate in a juicy conversation that somehow gives us what? And then we pass that dirt to another. And then they spread this toxin to somebody else. You see, you have to understand that the person who loves to gossip about others is the person who's not living or walking in the right direction. And the scriptures declare that the person in whom God delights is the one who follows God trust in him and tries to do their very best to do his will. You see, God watches over us and our affairs and he makes, not us, but he makes every step that we take firm, stable, and solid. If you would like to have the Lord direct your way, then seek his advice before you step out. So today or tonight, let's consider this, people of God. We have a great opportunity to be transformed by renewing our thinking, Romans 12 and 2. We need to realize that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father who created all the lights in the heavens. He is always the same and never makes dark shadows by changing. James 1 and 17. It's all in the details. Think about this, everybody. Those who serve in the armed forces when walking over a landmine use mine probing techniques to move out of the minefield and back to safety. These men and women had to transform their way of thinking while facing their opposition. Because if they didn't, it could cost their life. It's the same way with God. The Lord provides for us through his word and illuminating light that creates clear vision so we can avoid the setbacks and pitfalls associated with not paying attention to the details. But if we continue to deflect or if we don't pay attention, close attention to specific details of our lives, this will ultimately cause us to stumble and fumble over important and possibly life-changing opportunities that if not properly addressed, can and will 
mitigate exponential growth. Today, I want you to embrace the God who knows us better than we know ourselves. And details do matter. It should matter to you because it really matters to God. Think about it this way, people of God. It's the difference between being average or becoming special. It can determine great success or it could potentially keep your life in neutral. You see, people of God, to study your opponent requires the right information from the right source and it demands sacrifice on our part to walk in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You see, the enemy's schemes are designed to entangle you and weigh you down. Ignoring the steps for success the way God intended for you to live by just because you believe is not necessary, well, you get the picture. An epic swing and miss. You see, we've been taught about paying attention to the details at an early age. At an early age and stage of our lives. It's the baby who's learning how to walk. The baby holds our hand long enough to learn how to balance themselves, to coordinate their steps effectively. And at the right time, we let go. We're there to catch them if they fall, but we also encourage them to keep trying until they get it right. God's word guides us through every age and stage of our lives in a way where we can have confidence in him because he has given us his power to live, to thrive, to excel, to coordinate our steps effectively because we are paying attention to the details of our lives. God's word is a lamp that gives light wherever we walk or wherever we are. Psalms 119, 105. Acts, the 17th chapter, verses 24 through 28 states, it says, God made the world and everything in it. He is Lord of heaven and earth, and he doesn't live in temples built by human hands. He doesn't need help from anyone. He gives life, breath, and everything else to all people. From one person, God made all nations who live on earth, and he decided when and where every nation would be. God has done all of this so that we will look for him and reach out and find him. He isn't far away from any of us and he gives us the power to live, to move, and to be who we are. Because we are his children, just as some of your poets have said. St. Matthew chapter 6 verse 26 reminds us that the Lord is actively involved in our day-to-day -day interactions and activities. People of God, Matthew, the sixth chapter and the 26th verse says, Look at the birds in the sky. They don't plant or harvest. They don't even store grain in barns. Yet your Father in heaven takes care of them. Aren't you worth more than birds? It goes on to really say, aren't you worth worth much more than birds. So to all of my Full of Life Ministries, family, friends, everybody that listens to this particular podcast, I'm here to remind you that the Lord is actively involved in every detail of our lives. He's there to keep you on track. 
He's always near and available. He's closer than you think. And I understand habits are hard to break. Humility, humility can make you uncomfortable. Pride can keep you from the freedom that the Lord wants, wants for you to experience. But Galatians, the fifth chapter and the first verse says it best. It says Christ has set us free to live a free life. So take your stand. Never again let anyone put a harness of slavery on you. People of God, it's time to begin your journey paying attention to His details. I want you to continue to keep shining and I want you to be encouraged and thank you for listening to this particular podcast full of life ministries of san diego god bless you please email us at full of life sd at gmail.com if you need encouragement if you need some help in terms of your everyday walk with christ please reach out to us you can follow us on instagram you can follow us on twitter you can follow us on youtube we are here to serve you if you like to contribute to this ministry, please cash app, dollar sign, full of life, last two letters, capitalized SD. I want to say that one more time. The dollar sign, full of life, capitalized SD. We are so grateful for all of our listeners from around the world to know. I want you guys to understand and hear me. We are grateful and thankful for your support for this ministry. And I pray that every time you live your life, every time you wake up to see the sunshine or you see the clouds or you see the rain or whatever situation that you're in, I want you to recognize and realize that with God, all things are possible to them that believe. God bless you. I will talk to you next week here at Full of Life Ministries of San Diego. God bless you.